Welcome back. Five years ago, a young violinist came to Rochester to study at the Eastman School of Music all the way from Ukraine. He says his journey has not always been easy. He heard some discouraging words as a child from a prestigious music teacher about his potential. But all it took was one professor to believe in him. Now he's making a name for himself here in Rochester. Eric Cost has the story. Kostya Luginuk grew up in Ukraine in a musical family. Since a child, he developed a passion for street performing, also known as busking. Early on in his childhood, something happened with his very first violin teacher that set a spark in his career. And then he said the phrase that I will never forget. He, he called my mom and he said, this boy will never be a violinist in his life. He and his mother wanted to prove that teacher wrong and found another one that did believe in him. When a professor from the Eastman School of Music was in town for business one day, that teacher fought to get Kostya noticed. I mean, I didn't know what kind of opportunities were waiting for me, but I just knew that I had to present myself in the best way. That professor from Eastman was Dr. Ole Krissa, who even helped pay for Kostya's tuition the first year with a foundation he started to help first-year students. His wife, who passed away in a car accident and also was a music teacher, gave him the inspiration to start the fund. I love my students. Good for when Kostya will go out to continue his career, and other students can get that help. While getting to study at Eastman was quite a feat for Kostya, he still has even bigger dreams like any other 21-year-old. Get my own band and uh, create a project where I would play all of the different kinds of music. He's also still busking outdoors to raise leftover tuition for school and beyond that, making people feel good in a pandemic. Music should be uh, celebrated and, and, and played anytime. And, and at a time, especially at a time, at a time of crisis. Reporting in Rochester, Eric Hedekost, News 8. All right, thank you, Eric Hedde. You can find out more about the foundation and how to support Kostya in his music career on this article at rochesterfirst.com.